Hey everybody, before this uh, video starts, I just wanted to let you guys know about my sponsor, Galvanized Grips. Uh, if you guys wanted to go there, um, here they are, I'm pulling it up on the screen for you. Um, basically, um, they partnered with me to do grips, they got t-shirts, they got sweatshirts, hats, um, different types of grips you can get. You can get Elite Grips, you can get Glow in the Dark, you can get Fusion, you can get Concave, Candy. Um, they even got like paw grips and stuff like that for... Uh, um, a low price so you guys can get it. And if you want, you can use code WIZZY at, uh, at the checkout for 5% off. All right. Um, so this is, you can even buy yourself a sponsorship ship too. I didn't buy myself one. Um, all right. So we're going to let you guys get right into the video. Please enjoy it. Um, and I will see you guys later. How's it going everybody? It's Wiz here, um, bringing you a tutorial video on how I edit and upload my videos to YouTube. Now, um, a lot of people ask me how I do this. Um, I'm just letting you know um, that here, hold on, let me make sure I'm recording because the last one didn't record. All right, we're good. Um, um, so basically, this is all 100% free because when I found out how to use this and I learned how to use this, um, it was basically, I didn't have any money for this channel, so I couldn't do anything. Um, just let me know what you guys think of this and I'll show you how to get it It's basically you just post about it and they send you a free download link and you can do anything from this uh, From hit film. So basically let's get into it. Um, you're gonna go to uh, Google here. This is how I search for it. I don't go straight to their site You're gonna type in hit film which mine is right here So you're gonna put hit film for express now you got to make sure you do the express because that's the free one um, If you want to do pro you're gonna pay for it um, but um, this one just allows you to get the free version and then buy any packs that you would like later. Now you're gonna click get started now. Um, you're gonna get hit film free right here. I'm gonna black out my information, but this is how you're gonna get it and that's gonna send you a download link after you link it with a social media account. So they're gonna send you that download link and they're gonna download it straight to your uh, PC. Now I wouldn't get this program if you don't have a strong enough computer. Now basically any basic computer would most likely be able to hold this except a like burst computer like one that only goes up to like four gigs on your memory ram because this program will take six right off the bat um now obs will only take one i believe uh all this other stuff really doesn't use much so um on my computer i have 64 gigs of ram on my laptop so I'm pretty much set to have anything open and games going at the same time. And I got a future video coming up where I'm actually going to show you how to uh, record uh, gameplay from a console, most likely PS4, um, without using Elgato Game Capture. I figured it out. I didn't have to spend $180 on another Elgato. I know I had one before, uh, but I actually sold it when we were. I was uh, I needed the money. So. Um, I figured out how to do it. Uh, I will show you guys a video soon so you guys don't have to go out and buy that. So it's 100% free if you have a PlayStation 4. I know you can do it with the Xbox too, so Xbox play anywhere on your computer, basically. But you need a PC. You need a PC. Um, for the PlayStation 4 remote play on the PC, you don't uh, you don't need a PC. It can work with Mac, too. Um, now, basically, how this is going to work... Um, let me. Yes, I'm recording everything in Audacity. You're going to open uh, HitFilm 4 Express right here. Um, it's going to give you everything and even uh, instructions here that you can actually walk through, like tutorials. Um, they're also giving you the buy packs that you can buy right here. Um, and also, this is going to be your save projects if you just want to save it and finish it later. I'm going to click New. I'm going to start a new one for you guys. It's all going to be in 1080. You can pause it here and use all my settings if you want. Um, but it's going to downscale it to whatever... Uh, the lowest camera or setting that's in there. So if I have my gameplay at 720p, but 60 frames per second, it's going to put it to 720p, even though I have my webcam at 1080 and other things, and I have it set at there. So basically, you're going to go, this is going to be your po project plane. Um, this is going to be everything you're going to implement into this video. Now, this is going to be your timeline. You can add extra visuals, extra sounds, everything like that. And you can even zoom in on the timeline with your scroll bar if you put it over to hover over this part right here. Um, so I'm going to import something I won't use. Uh, let's see. Um, my job simulator, my second one, because it's horrible. So I'm not even going to mess with it. Um, and then also my intro. All right. And you're just going to drag and drop them. 
So yes, so that's where it's going to tell you, yes, um, you want to downscale it because my camera at the time was 720p. Um, I want to drag in my intro. It's going to be right at the front here if it's, it's pretty laggy, um, but it'll start to, yeah, see, it starts to even itself out. You're going to zoom in, so now you have your intro and anything you want to do after that. So I have this here, and then it goes right into the video. Um, now, this is going to be your project pane. Uh, so this is what's going to be inside on the computer when people will search it and watch it. All this checkered. All right, so where my actual um, um, my intro is, is too big, and that's how I like it. Um, so if you do this, um, you can scale it down and just put it down if that's how big you want it. Um, you can leave it however size you want is um, perfectly fine. I liked having mine a little bit zoomed in at the time. But if you want to do any cutting, this line here is going to be your timeline line. So you can basically cut here. Um, that's going to get rid of your whole highlighted frame. Um, you're going to slice it. You can slice it there. Um, I can slice it right here. It's going to pop up any minute now. Here we go. You can slice it. So now I'll put it in three separate. So I got this first one. I have this second one. And I have this third one. The main focus was this guy here. So you can either zoom in here if you want onto the webcam. So when it plays through, it's going to be normal size, but only be a little bit bigger on See, it's only going to be a little bit bigger on that one frames or that part of the video that you wanted. Um, you can also slow it down, but watch out. You want to make, because when you slow it down, it's going to make this part of the clip longer. So you're going to clip it here and go to speed and duration. And uh, if I wanted to, I want to put the 65. Now watch it. It's going to lengthen out. So now it's going to be in slow motion. All right. So it's going to be that long there now. Um, so it's nothing going to be towards it. So it's going to be slow motion. Now, I'm sorry if there's no uh, actual um, audio to this because it's all going to be um, from me. Now, I have other stuff running on my computer that I don't want you guys to hear, um, like uh, the fans and stuff that are around my computer um, that are get pretty loud um, when I'm running these programs. Um, but that's basically it. Now, if you guys want to add extra stuff, you can add more um, around it. It's basically a full editing software that does everything, um, but it's free. So it's perfect. Um, if you guys want to do a composite shot, I'll explain to you what that is in a minute. You can copy my stuff here. So this one's in 720 already. Um, you can put in a picture. Um, I'm going to put in, um, let's do galvanized logo. So I'm going to put it here, um, and put it up into my composite shot. Now, that's how big it's going to be at first. I'm going to do a transform on this uh, um, basically timeline here. You're going to do a transform. You're going to do scale because it's not going to move the position. It's just going to be how big how big it's going to be. And now I'm going to move this down to um, let's go five seconds, and I'm going to put it down to a little dot. So if you watch here, let's see if it works. So about that size there. So, and then that's going to be in over a duration of five seconds. So it's going to be pretty quick. So from the beginning, if I want this to be a big, bold thing over it, um, this is what's going to, this is how it's going to look. And this is going to be a PNG. So this is going to go over any video I, I want and I'm going to use it too. So I'm basically going to put this in this video, um, right over the top Your editor. Now to put that a composite shot is going to pop up here and you're going to put that into it here. Now, that's how it's going to go over. That's going to be your first priority one. So when you actually play this through, this is how it's going to look here. Since there's no sound, I'll just zoom in on it. It's going to go over as a PNG. So just like that, it's going to go right over as a PNG. It's very laggy as at the moment here. Let me see if I can fix that. Um, no. But that's basically how it's going to look when it's when it's fully uploaded. Um, so to the exportation, now you're going to want to click this little video thing down in that corner. You can, uh, upload it straight to YouTube. So it's hooked up, to, linked basically to my YouTube account with the title, uh, your description category. The only thing I don't like about this is you can, you can't upload anything over 15 minutes or it's going to take a lot of space on your computer. Um, and also you can't tag your videos. So only your subscribers are going to be able to see that. I noticed that. I now do MP4 straight to my computer. You can either export the video 
or also the audio. Now, this is all set in 720, but 1280 by 720 because that's what YouTube usually is. I don't want to be able to have to downscale it and stuff for you guys. Um, but then you'll just click uh, export. Um, I'm not going to export this. Um, it's going to pop up in your videos folder if you want to link it with your videos folder. This is where everything is. Um, and it's going to pop up in here. Now, when you actually run this, um, it's going to be ba basically in here. You're going to click this. You, you can watch it over if you want. But then you're going to want to go to um, YouTube. On your account, you want to go to the upload, which is right here. You're going to want to click this here. Um, and then just click on the video you want to upload it. That's fully edited. Um, here, let's do one just so I have a visual on it. So here. Um, let's see if I can get one. Come on. Uh, we'll do Time Machine here. Uh, this is going to be your title, your description if you want to add any thank you. And then your tags, the most important part. You're going to want to put in stuff like the title, what people are going to, uh, basically what they're going to um, search on the internet. So you do cap locks, lower locks, uh, I mean lowercase lower locks. <laughs> You're pro stupid, I'm telling you. Um, and then you're going to also most importantly want to do a uh, misspellings because people misspell the word all the time. So if you want to put in, if I'm doing an Oculus video, I put in the title, but I also put in Oculus and then the touch gameplay. That's what somebody would search, and then they can find the video. You can put in your custom thumbnail, so um, it's when it uploads, the thumbnail's already set. Um, so you can make it while, usually I make it while this is uploading. Um, you can do translations. Um, you can do monetization. I don't do it at the moment uh, just for the fact that I don't get enough uh, uh, views to be able to get paid from YouTube, so I don't use these often. Maybe once in a while I'll remember to put it on, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and then also advanced settings. So you're going to set your game title. Um, you're going to, you can set your age restriction if you want. I don't care if anyone listens to me swear. I don't give a fuck, but that's where you're going to put it. Um, and you want to make sure you use non-copyright music when you put it into the editor. Um, cause they will give you a copyright strike and you won't be able to monetize it. I know a lot of people don't care about that. That's okay. I don't care about it either. And then you're just going to click upload. Or, or publish and it's all gonna upload right as it gets done with this you're gonna want to keep it on this page usually i do it overnight so it uploads in the morning um but you're gonna want to stay on this page for it um so that's basically it and then you're all set to go so um if you guys did enjoy this video and it helped you let me know in the comments below and i love this background this millennium falcon um just let me know what you guys think of the video um if it helped you if you guys have any issues let me know in the comments um so if you guys already liked it, you know, like the video, you know, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, I upload stuff like gaming videos and stuff all the time. I stream all the time. Um, if you enjoy it, I did get recently get a new mic, so it's going to sound a lot better. Um, I kind of sound like a TV, uh, like you know, a radio host now, you know, kind of wicked, 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 wicked. Nah, nah, I'm just going to let that go as whatever but uh without further ado this has been your boy the wiz signing out i will see you guys later please uh let me know what you think about it all right peace out y'all i'll see you later i'm og y'all new to the game